In the local language here, Isizulu, Pinda means the return. Over the last three decades, Pinda Private Game Reserve has rightfully returned all the existing wildlife that used to occur here. The Pinda Pangolin Reintroduction Program is so special because they used to occur here in this province, KwaZulu-Natal. It's the first time that pangolins have been reintroduced into a population or an area where they went extinct anywhere in South Africa, Africa and globally. Just to bring some idea of how affected pangolins are, we had 43 pangolins through the hospital last year. We've had 13 through the hospital this year. The pangolins that end up coming through to the hospital have all been confiscated in sting operations and so they're starving and they're dehydrated and they're traumatised beyond belief. Since 2016, around 300,000 African pangolins have been poached out of the wild. This is to satisfy the Asian demand for their scales, which is a key ingredient in their traditional medicine. Making pangolin hands down the most traffic mammal on earth. Before 2007, I didn't know what a pangolin was either, and now I have worked with literally hundreds of them. We founded the African Pangolin Working Group in 2011, and part of my work is sponsored by the Humane Society International Africa. We treat all the pangolins at the Johannesburg Wildlife Veterinary Hospital. It's three organizations that are collaborating with Pinda on this reintroduction of uh, Temex ground pangolin back into KwaZulu-Natal. Uh, just through circumstance, Simon and I got into contact with one another and we decided to, to try and release pangolin here back onto Pinda. Pinda falls within the natural distribution range of the pangolin, the world's most trafficked mammal. It's the ideal habitat for rewilding these pangolins. Just because the ants and the termites that they naturally eat occur here, we have very good monitoring and security, and our guides are some of the most sensitive in the industry, and we've put in very strict and stringent guiding, viewing protocols and monitoring protocols. So we will enable these traumatized animals a safe area for recovery and obviously start a viable breeding population. The care that our pangolins have received here, the post-release monitoring and the, and the team have just gone beyond all our expectations and they've matched our dedication perfectly and it's, it's just been so satisfying and such a relief to have our pangolins and we work so hard to bring to the point of release have them in the situation where we're, we're so confident in their care. To help fund this project and reintroduction, and beyond guests will be allowed to partake in a pangolin conservation experience. To accompany the monitors and the research team to weigh the pangolin, observe its health, and to follow it afterwards while it feeds. The cost of this experience will help fund the replacement and the purchase of monitoring tags that are placed on the pangolins so researchers can follow their movements and habits and we can learn more about these animals once they've been reintroduced. It's just been the most incredible project to be part of. We hope that this project will successfully reverse the local extinction and help leave our world a better place for the pangolin.